few days before, Zhejiang province had a quite serious outbreak of the corona, and also our city, Hangzhou, had a few cases too. Today we want to check the situation and also compare the seriousness of the outbreak with my country, Slovakia. Today we went to Hangzhou East Railway Station to get our COVID test done, but because they made a temporary station where you can get COVID testing, but <laughs> today it was already closed, it doesn't exist anymore. So we had to go to hospital. And now we are at Shihu. And in here I want to show you, like, compare the situation in Hangzhou to Slovakia. In Hangzhou, we have few cases. In Zhejiang province, we have like daily increase of cases from 20 to about 40. A day. That's a quite serious outbreak for China. But in Slovakia, the numbers are very different. We have like 10,000 cases a day. So I want to show you this graph to compare the situation of coronavirus. And I know what you are thinking, you just show us the graph of situation in Slovakia, but we wanna see numbers in China. But not if you look closer, you can see this is a comparison of Slovakia with China. And I need to mention in Slovakia, we have 5.5 million of people. And in China, the population is 1.4 of billion of people. And guess which country has number one spot of new daily corona cases per 1 million people? Is it USA, Czech Republic or Slovakia? I'm sorry, Czech Republic, this time number one spot belongs to Slovakia. And to understand why Slovakia is doing so poor, let's go back to China. So you might think there are still many people, but it's way less than usually. Usually the whole place is crowded and packed with people. But today there are very few people in here. Uh, you might notice that everyone in here, or at least over 95% of people are wearing masks. And actually in here it's not mandatory to wear masks outside, but most of the people still choose to wear masks. Even when they, we don't have cases, still you can see like half of the people, they still keep wearing masks. Mm -hmm. So I saw some Western media saying that our people in Zhejiang province and in Hangzhou we are all locked up in our homes. But it's not true. Like besides people who are actually in quarantine, us other we are not locked up. We are choosing to stay at home. With my boyfriend we also stayed at home for more than 10 days and it's not because we couldn't leave but we choose not to. Because in China people are very respectful and they are going to give up their personal freedom for a period of time to gain more freedom in general. On the other hand, people in Slovakia, many of them are very selfish. I had many family members which got infected, even my sister. She is one of those people which follow all the rules, she always wear a mask. She got vaccinated twice, she doesn't go outside to meet friends or to restaurants. But unfortunately, in Slovakia, we have many people which they get infected and they don't wear masks and they go, they go outside, they travel, they go shopping, they just don't care. So I wish people in Slovakia would be less selfish and more respectful and learn from Chinese people. From May 2020 until this winter, in our province, we had like almost zero cases of COVID and it's all because of Chinese zero COVID policy and this policy works because not only there are very few cases but as people we can still like move freely we can go outside meet with friends go to restaurants and but now unfortunately we are affected province so now we have like more strict regulations so it's all tranquil so although we are facing very serious outbreak this time and many of us cannot go home for holidays or for Chinese New Year but I hope you all stay safe and wear your mask so see you in the next video and don't forget to like share and comment bye